Hello, and welcome to me playing Dark Souls and stuff. I'm in the middle of a new game plus, so I'm just going to stick with that. And I'm not going to really talk about the game. I'm just grinding to get up to level 50-ish regarding, uh, what do you call it? Strength. Because I really want to equip Havel's shield, which has a huge... Stim it's a huge strength requirement. Oh, I have two. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. It's 50. I have 47 strength, and I really feel like equipping it because I didn't get to equip it the first time around. So, that's what I'm doing. So, I'm just going to randomly talk about topics of interest to me, and if you find this boring, please stop watching. <laughs> but if you like it, comment, rate, whatever. Basically, all I did in Dark Souls was this. So, once I figured... Oh! <laughs> oh, I guess he died. <laughs> but anyway. I've been having a lot of fun with Theology Gaming lately, mostly due to Dark Souls, because I've been playing Dark Souls a lot. And people have been saying things like, well, Dark Souls is really not that great a game, because it just has awkward controls, and it's clunky, and you got used to it, or something like that. And I want to dispel that myth right now. It's not really that clunky of a game. It's just that uh, it requires a lot of precision that you wouldn't... Okay, I didn't know I didn't have a jump attack with that one. I'm playing awful. I'm trying to talk to you people, and I'm trying to play the game at the same time. And it's not working. And the AI of this enemy is dumb. goodness. Just walk around, please. Get over here so that you can die. You know what? Screw this. Oh yeah, this is a lightning weapon. My dad, I guess. Uh, goodness. <laughs> Did he just jump off? <laughs> Oh, yeah, this game is wonky AI. Anyway, going back to uh, precision and controls here. Now, everything in Dark Souls is just precise. It's not the kind of game where you just kind of flail the attack button until you win. And I, I believe I read a website that distinguished this from beat-em-ups like, let's say, God of War Bayonetta, and they call these quote-unquote grind-em-ups. Because, really, it's an RPG. It just has action elements in it. So most of the solutions to the problems are RPG in nature. For example, I run a pretty high armor strength build. So, just take a cursory look at my stats. I have 40 vitality. I have 42 and I have 42 endurance. I have 47 strength. Strength is basically the requirement to do more damage and do a ton of damage with strength weapons. So that would be stuff like uh, ultra great swords, which does Y hander is one. So that's an ultra great sword, right? So it does, whoop, hits on the ground. That's a huge, strong attack hit. It will do lots of damage to any kind of enemies that are vulnerable to lightning, because that's a lightning spy hander, too, denoted by the little electrical symbol to the bottom right-hand corner. Now, I also use a, a butcher's knife, which has been upgraded to, like, plus 13, 14, and that does a ton of damage, but it's a lot faster because it's just a hand axe. But anyway, those are the kind of weapons that you use. And high strength is also required to wield things like armor. and Well, you don't need it for armor, but you need it for like a shield. Great Shield of Artorias has a 34 strength requirement. And all great shields have a pretty high strength requirement by comparison with, let's say, any normal shield. So, like even the Black Knight shield, which you get like at the end of the game. And it's a really good shield. It's 16, but that's kind of a low. But... For a great shield, the first one you get, the Eagle Shield, has a 16 strength requirement, which is, wow, you know. But the thing about great shields is that with a great shield, you can really only block, and the block will not take you very far. So, and it does a little bit of stamina damage, but that's really all you want, because if you're in heavy armor, you want a lot of endurance, because that will give you a lot of stamina, which is the green bar. So, that's mostly how that works. Now... In terms of regular shields, you can parry with regular shields, which gives you options against humanoid enemies 
and you can parry and then use the riposte attack, which is basically like a giant counterattack. It does a ton of damage. But it's really up to you. Oh, okay. He's already moving towards me. This is not good. And see, most characters, that would just kill them automatically. It would just, you need really need to dodge that. But since I've got heavy armor with high poise, which is a stat that basically determines whether or not an attack will affect you to a certain degree, then you'll actually be quite okay. And that staggered him, it hit so hard. Oh goodness, get back here. Oh, I don't want to aggro the guy on the other side, that's why I'm being cautious. Okay, dead and gone. That's wonderful. Apparently I'm getting messages from people <laughs> as I'm playing. Give me one second. I don't know why this is happening. Why is this happening? You did well. Brian Hall, you're the one that interrupted this recording if you ever watch this. <laughs> okay, so to continue my little rant here. And a lot of Dark Souls is about knowing what you're doing, knowing an enemy's attack patterns, and then not being able to repeat all the things you did before. So it's basically like pattern recognition. Okay, so you know Giant Guard here. He's going to walk towards you. Oh, look, he's got a stab attack. Sometimes he follows it up with that sweep, which will definitely hit behind him. Sometimes he just does one. Sometimes he does that shield attack. And there you go. See? It didn't take that much effort. I just had to know what exactly I was doing and what my build is and what attacks I'm going to use. So, the, the effort you need to expend in Dark Souls is not exactly that much. It's just that you need to be cognizant of what's happening. Okay, okay. So... Basically, if you can adapt and you can pay attention to enemy patterns and you know what your build is about, right? So I have a high poise, high strength build with this great shield, which makes the game really, really easy. Some people might use magic. Some people might use range attacks. Those might be your primary things, and that's all well and good. Here's the Royal Guard, Royal Sentinel variation of the Royal Guard enemy. They use a magic attack. And they also heal themselves, so it's not exactly ideal circumstances. Boom. And there you go. <laughs> See? Not that hard. Now, I personally just like playing as a tank. That's why it works for me. I'm happy with the way this goes, and you know what? I'm good with it. But a lot of people aren't, and you know, they complain, oh boy, here we go, Dark Souls, etc, etc. I don't know, roll timings? Well, if you don't want to roll, then get yourself a great shield and start tanking everybody. And wear the heaviest armor you can. I mean, look at this. It takes like, I have the heaviest roll in the game. I do not run fast. I have a giant encumbrance because of the roll speed, but you know, it works out fine for me. What do I want to do? I want to... I don't want to fight Ornstein and Smo yet. <laughs> As I did last time I recorded in Orlando. Just by sheer coincidence. I really am trying just to level up Havel to Havel's Great Shield and try to use that. I have no idea whether or not it will be more or less effective than what I've got on, but you know what? I'm a new game plus and I just really don't care and I want to do interesting things. Also, if you're wondering, this armor, which is the Guardian armor, is from the DLC, which is the uh, Artorius of the Abyss. Is that what they call it? In the PC version, it's by default, so it's not really DLC to me, but if you're playing on console, then yeah. That's the only way you're going to get this. Great Shield of Artorius you get by using a, the soul of Seif the Wolf. And he basically will upgrade it for you. And you get that. And after you ascend the weapon to that, it's pretty much the best great shield in the game 
probably due to the strength requirement and the fact that it probably gives you higher poise than Hevel's Great Shield, but you know what, we're gonna see if that's true or not. I'm getting there. And I was an idiot and used a bunch of souls from bosses or making, you know, super strong weapons, but that doesn't matter because I really don't need those weapons all that much. So, theology gaming related stuff. Obviously, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls lately, which has made me write a giant article on this. And that will be up whenever I decide that's gonna go up. <laughs> Sorry if I'm so purposely vague, but that's the way things go on theology gaming. Everything runs according to my whims. Or, okay. Um, okay. I never understood whether whatever direction you did actually affected where this thing goes. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm wearing the Guardian instead of Havel's, because Guardian gives lightning resist, and these enemies in here all seem to use lightning attacks, so... Or at least the Flying Winged Demons do, so... Flying Winged Demons, yeah, I'm sure that's the name. Anyway, and Orlando is really good for grinding, especially if you've got the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring on, which basically gives you extra souls. I don't know what the percentage is or anything, I just know it does. Oh wow, recording video makes things a little choppier than they probably should be. And I'm gonna say something to Mariner. More I say. <laughs> okay, and back we go. So, and let me show you a little more, huh? Okay, so. All enemies in Dark Souls have an obvious aggro radius, right? They will turn to you if you're about to aggro them, if you're watching from afar. Obviously, this doesn't apply to ambushes or anything, but it does apply to most situations in the game. Okay, so a winged demon ambush down there, he saw me. He would be sitting right there, as you saw earlier in the video, but because I was so close to the left-hand side, he aggroed anyway, and he can't get through that door. He's stupid. Take advantage of the fact that the AI in this game is very predictable. It, it will make mistakes, and it will do dumb things like jump off ledges. It is dumb. That's the whole point. Okay. Use the terrain to your advantage. See this guy? He's probably going to do a sweeping attack. Can't hit me if I'm on the stairs. I'm drawing him down so that when he does his jump back thing, he won't aggro the other enemy in response. Okay, and he's going to do the slash... Okay, thing. I really just want him to do the shield slam thing. Go. Strong attack. Light attack. Another one. And look at that. All dead. Now, of course, the downside to having a giant sword like this is that if you miss, you will pay. That's why Dark Souls is about precision attack, precision pattern recognition, and looking for the exact right time to do a strike. The only reason it staggers is because this is a really strong weapon. You can get this right at the beginning of the game, actually. If you go down that area where the skeletons are, it should be right at the end. But of course, this Y-Hander has a pretty high strength requirement. What is it, 16 for the beginning of the game? But if you two-hand it, the requirement is half. So if you really want to use this Y-Hander, you can do it. And nope, that didn't hit, but I got lucky. And I got lucky in that one, too. Wow. Now, most people probably have to dodge that. I mean, that's just the nature of the game. If you're playing a fast build, you're just going to have to roll everything. I just prefer to wear heavy armor and hit things in the face. And that preference is perfectly fine. All right. Now, let's see here. I'm going to get you. And it's going to hurt. Oh, look at that. Did that not feel bad? Wow, that broke poise? Huh. I could care less. Hit me again, boom. <laughs> One of the benefits of having high poise is that you could just kind of run in and do that if you really want to. Or you could just block it like a sane person would. Yeah, 
and enemies that jump back, well, make them face walls. Don't be dumb like me and try to attack them while they're on the stairs. All right, let's see this. The one down right, he already came up. The one down left, he already came up. Or you can just have them jump off a ledge, because they're dumb. Oh, look. You dumb. <laughs> so there you go. You know, part of the appeal of Dark Souls is not knowing what stats do. Of course, that's what people say, but if you press the back button, hey look, I can find out what every single thing in this game does. Wow. It will literally tell you what everything does in the game. Now, will it tell you what all those numbers actually mean? Not necessarily. No, it might not. But I will tell you enough information for you to start doing something about it and to see strength weapons, and to see if you want to use a dexterity weapon, or if you want to be an arrow guy. I mean, there's like a billion different options in this game. And they're all viable. Of course, poise builds are definitely the strongest in Dark Souls. They're kind of broken. They're broken for PvE, not so much for PvP, as my track record will tell you, which is basically zero and infinity. <laughs> I'm just not good at PvP in this game. Now, I've accepted that. Um, am I on the wrong? Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, come over here, foul creature. And, oh, why did I do that? Okay, that does high stand into damage. Oh, backstab! And backstab chain? Yes! Backstab. Boom. If you know what enemies are going to do, and if you're watching what's happening to stamina bar, to meter and stuff, you will do really well in this game. Alright, let's see. Um, oh, um, that was... No. No. Okay, I totally missed. This is bad. And bad things like this will happen. Okay, I'm running away. Bye. <laughs> bad things like this happen all the time. You gotta know when to run. And if you can't run, you're just gonna die, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. And that's just the way it goes. Okay, that's me clicking on a different part of the screen. That is not me being smart. Okay, here we go. Um, he's gonna run at me for some reason? Okay. That doesn't make much sense, but you know. Oh goodness. Yeah, I hate that. That's the worst. Yeah, and if you hit that shield, oh, it's the worst. It's like a total miss. These guys heal too, so what you don't want to do is have them jump back into a wall. It's like the total opposite of it. Hey, look, he died. See? Not that bad. Dark Souls is the game of patience. If you can be patient for a little bit, you can do a lot. Wow, this turned into a lot of Dark Souls talk. Yeah. It's just an interesting kind of game that I've not played before. I'm not sure, you know, it's kind of made me happy that there are games like this that still exist. The things are mysterious, and not everything is spelled out in total detail to you. you know, right from the beginning. Wow, I got lucky in that one. <laughs> and sometimes you just need a little bit of luck. <laughs> Admittedly. Do, do, do. And I bring this video to you while I'm suffering from allergy headaches <laughs> because, uh, I don't know, because everything's suddenly decided to be alive. Mm -hmm. 
And there's probably two guys down here, right? Yep, there are. Here's another situation. You run down here, guy will run upstairs. You can't backstab him, so what do you do instead? You just gotta figure out how to parry a counter, or you just gotta block and counter attack. Because that shield. Whoop. Ooh, he's got the shivers. Silver Knight Spear, nice. Okay, now I can backstab you. Yep. Yeah, they don't have a very big aggro radius. Oh, and sometimes I'll hop back. Get over here, good knight. Oh, come on. Be a jerk. I just want to backstab you. Okay, that missed. What the heck? And every once in a while, you'll have one of these situations where it's like, oh, I can't do anything. Because apparently, I am dumb. Ow! Oh, did that hurt? Sorry! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't notice you. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, yeah, the sword one. Right. He's kind of intimidating. Backstab time is really important. Because in the backstab, you're invincible the whole length of the animation. So, totally, totally worth it doing. Of course, I'm on the PC version, and I'm using a PS3 stick in order to do all these movements. And it's making it partly difficult, because the sensitivity on backstabs and kicks and stuff is not as good as it could be. Yeah, and kick doesn't work against these guys anyway. Oh! Oh, backstab. Boom! <laughs> yeah, that's why I like using big big swords. Very satisfying. Uh, where was I going? Okay, oh. Just kill all the silver knights, grind out some SP and whatever. I'll be on my... Oh. Oh, man, you always hear sounds in this game, and it's like, is something coming to kill me? Yeah, that too. Pay attention to environmental cues. The, the breathing sound you might be hearing is the sound of the prowling demon. He drops a demonic titanite or something to that effect. It's useful for upgrading certain weapon types. Oh, wow. See, totally missed. Oh, close. Yeah, I'm just going to hate it. Uh, not that interesting of a kill, but you know. What you gonna do? They can't all be that way. And there's an arrow guy on the way over here. I'm just gonna run at him. Don't get hit by the arrows. Pro tip. Now, if you are playing like me, you will be dumb. The first time you go through an area, always walk slow. Because you have no idea whether or not you're gonna be able to sneak up on an enemy do a backstab without him even knowing you were there. That kind of thing. Very important stuff. It's all about caution, patience, and not losing your ability to keep your cool. If you can do all that, <laughs> you're pretty much the winner. See, so watch. Like, in real life, you would like, oh, that door is not open. I better just waltz in there. Oh, but there's a sword. Ambush. Stuff happens all the time. Oh, look, I even got hit still. I what the heck are you doing? Do not attack me. I will smash. Okay. <laughs> and there's this one. Don't go over there because there's a guy with arrows. Walk over here because you're aggro him. His aggro radius is bigger for some reason. Oh, that did not work at all. Backstab timing takes time. Yes, very good, you say. <laughs> okay. Well, I've never actually done that before. But, you know what? First time for everything. How did that miss? Do 
do do do do do do do I can't see my soul counter because there's an IM message on top of it. I'm pretty sure I'm doing good. You know what? I'm going to do a full playthrough of this game one of these times. And then you can join in the experience of seeing me play Dark Souls. Or maybe I'll do it with Dark Souls 2 since that comes out on the PC on, as of this writing, Friday. Not this writing. I'm recording a video. Anyway. Oh, does he pop out right away? I can't remember. Yes, he does! Oh, goodness. <laughs> eh, whatever. And death through your troubles. How did that feel, mister? Now look at this, right? There's two guys. And how do I tell what their aggro radius is? Well, there's one. And his friend decides to let his other friend die because neither of them seem to really care about each other very much. Aww. It's a very sad story. Uh, and I'll inch forward towards you. Now, I don't know why I kept getting stabbed, but... Oh, well... Even if I miss, doesn't even matter. Yay. And I believe that has cleared out this area. So back to the bonfire with me. Yes. Bah. Yeah, sorry for the long walk. Long walk. I'm not going to kill the prowling demon because seriously, I just do not want to deal with the hassle right now. <laughs> Okay, the cameras go nuts because this IM message stop. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, mouse and keyboard controls for this game are terrible, so please do not play this with the controller unless you just really do not want to have fun. And it should be up and running in a boat. One more small run of this? Yeah, approximately. As you can see, I run really slow. And yet, I still completed the game originally in about 55, 60 hours? So, you know, I mean, a lot of people say it's 100 hours, but it depends on how your ability to learn the game. Which is a weird thing to say about a video game, but... Mostly depends. I also have a mage build that I've been playing. I did do up to Capra Demon, so... And Capra Demon's a pretty hard boss. Especially if you don't have a consistent melee attack. I was just using Pyromancy spells on it. And it seemed to work out pretty good. As long as you know how to deal with the dogs right at the beginning. Yeah, so I'm about three years late on this game. <laughs> two years? Two and a half years-ish? If you want to consider Japanese release, then probably a bit too early. And I didn't prepare that. Okay, let's see. Strength up again. Yeah, not much left. Do I have any item soul items of any kind? Yes, I do. Use that item. And oh, I should be out of this in a bit. Excellent. And I only need how many souls? Seventy eight. Okay, that's one of those sentinels. That's what am I gonna do?
So, you should thank Dark Souls, because it's made me very happy to be playing video games again, you know. Sometimes it's just like, oh, you're dealing with this incessant talk about one thing or another, and people don't really enjoy the games they're playing. They're more like, I love talking about video games, but not so much playing them. And I was kind of in that spot for a bit, and then Dark Souls was like, hey, video games are fun. Exploring new worlds you haven't been to, and difficulties that you haven't faced yet, and a story that is really interesting, especially if you're looking around at stuff, and where items are placed, and why enemies are here, and all other sorts of neat little stuff like that. It's pretty fascinating. You just need to go into the items, and a lot of it needs to be constructed, but I'm sure there's somebody who's done a YouTube video about one thing or another, and that should pretty much do it. It's complex, so... I'm not even going to bother to relay the story here. Somebody else has done it a far better job of it. Oh, he thought I was going to do something. Hey, he can't heal, so I don't care. Okay. Yeah, this happens sometimes. Sometimes they're like, oh. I didn't have my shield up. Yeah, heart attack moments. Hit again. Oh, come on, really? Oh, look, look at that. Look at that. That doesn't even make any sense. Come back here. Come back here. Okay, there we go. What is going on here? Wonky physics. Oh boy, I'm out of stamina. Ay, ay, ay. Wow, that still staggered me. Is that enough? Of souls. Yeah, we'll kill one more just to make sure. We'll kill you. Since I don't like you. Oh, yes. See? Watch this. You can actually sneak up on this dude. Because he's not paying attention. Come on. Hit him again. No! I hate you. You're the worst. Don't heal. Don't heal. Please don't heal. Please don't... Oh, goodness. There we go. Alright. Off I go to level again. To use Havel's Great Shield. Yay! Or whatever it's called. Shield of something or other. <laughs> wow, I'm so informed. So yeah, Dark Souls. You should really play it. And if you haven't played it, eh, well, you know, this might not be your thing. But I think it's worth at least experiencing in order to compare it to a lot of video games that have come out in recent memory that have been more on the experiential cinematic side rather than the actual game side. This includes indie games, too. Now, I'm pretty sure that Dark Souls is made with a team of about 36 or so, if not less. So, the quality of art design and stage design and all that stuff and the details that are in the localization and really everything about this game is pretty fantastic. Now, the only thing that's really a problem is that poise is just way too strong and you can kind of plow through the game if you do a heavy tank build, which... I just do out of personal preference, but I didn't know that it would make the game so easy. Hence why I'm doing the uh, other kind of build. What is with this yellow color? Is that weird, or am I am I looking at? Yeah, it's just shiny. Okay, and there we go. And now we're gonna equip Havel things. Havel's helm, Havel's armor, Havel's gauntlets, this thing. Havel's Great Shield. Uh, is that too heavy? No, somehow not. Uh, and 
Havel's weapon, which is the Dragon Tooth, which is in this list somewhere. There it is. Okay, now I'm officially awesome. Hello, everybody. What are the stats on this thing, anyway? Oh, wow. That's pretty good. It's like 90% magic resist. What's the stability on the Artorias? 88. It's actually higher? Are you kidding me? Well, you know what? I think it just more than makes up for it in the, uh, <laughs> in the resist department. Well, that's been me. Oh, wow. I can barely equip this. Can I even equip a secondary weapon without getting encumbered? Where the heck is my, uh, butcher knife? Oh, goodness. No, wow. Okay, so I can't equip that. I'll put the little S stock on just for fun. Yep, that would seriously be happening. <laughs> okay, much cooler. Bam! Anyway, this has been my little Dark Souls thing, and maybe theology gaming related in the most obscure of ways, probably. So, see you guys later, I guess.